Alright, good day, how you know? Bleh, good day, good day, bleh. Good day, hi, and welcome. Here we go. <laughs> this is more difficult than it needs to be. This is a lovely fall day, some of those lovely colors. Okay, so here's this aggravating SOB right here. So here's where I'm at. Uh, last night I realized, because you got to understand, I'm pretty far behind on my videos, uh, whatever. So, um, you know, by the time you see this, like today is like just about the end of October. I think it's the 26th or 27th today. And uh, we're just about getting ready. Now, I've got a, quite a few hours into this already, just cleaning things up. Next thing is, hopefully these banjo bolts aren't done because... I don't want another item holding me up. Uh, so four bolts kept me about two weeks from getting this done and then plus with work and everything like that. But I got a couple of days off in a row here, so hopefully everything will go well. But I got my emergency brakes on. I'm not going to lie to you. This really tested my mental health and patience. <laughs> this one went on no problem. The other side, I fought with it and fought with it. And I even broke a spring. Brand new and I've already got a broken spring. I mean, these are, this is, I guess, China quality, right? So, don't ask me how I did it. I have no clue how I did it. But everything's in there. So, I got my two springs in, and they're that actuator there. Well, I'll show you right there. I don't know if I'll be strong enough to do it. Like that, like he meant. Now, I got emergency brakes. Now, I got emergency brakes. Uh, it has, the actuator has to go the whole way to get the other brake to kick out, too. So, that went in, no problem. I had to cut the dust plates. So, as you can see, I'm missing all this here doesn't matter these little pins oh my thumb is so sore uh you use a uh, the first one went, this one went in no problem whatsoever this one I had to fight with a little bit and it sprung on me a few times and yeah it feels good when it does so they're in there they're in there safe uh and then underneath here i don't know if you'll be able to see it but there's the adjuster hopefully you guys can see there's a spring and there's the adjuster and then yeah. back here i don't want to touch anything just to right there that's where you make your adjustment so the next phase is to put the rotors on i'm getting there guys i'm getting there and get these guys off uh hopefully i don't have it and then i gotta clamp my hose gotta be careful with this hose i'm always so worried about these old hoses because uh, it's just it's just another problem i don't want to have to because they're going to be seized to the brake lines themselves so you definitely don't want to ever have to change those until you necessarily have to but i'll show you the other side i'm going to leave it the way it is it just you know it's time to get this thing on the road it's you know i've had this car i have this i've had this truck for three months <laughs> i haven't really drove it yet uh insurance everything's paid on it so yeah, so again, you can see from the top, there's the adjuster. It's all the way in, and then I'll adjust it out. So I'm on to the rotor phase. The, the rotor phase is usually the, the easier part. Uh, but you can see this caliper here, it sees that's as far in as the piston will go. So what I'm going to do is just set the rotor, old rotor, and some brake pads in there, just so when I bleed the other side first, uh, I could do this side first, technically. Actually, that might be the smarter idea. And the reason being is that because the piston is out so far, I've tried everything to compress it. It is seized. That's why the, that's why I had to replace it, right? If I replaced one, might as well replace the other. So I got to get all this off, or basically one bolt. I'm going to lose all that fluid, whatever that volume of fluid is there. I've got all that taken care of. That's no problem. I'll clamp my hose got to clean up my banjo bolt and then yeah so hopefully it all goes back together today guys I, I, i'm hoping by the end of today i have a running driving truck even if i don't get all the emergency brake cable thing done today which i don't think i will as long as this is in and the other parts in uh no problem so again same thing the actuator down here and whatever you can this one I don't know. I might have to mess around with this one to make sure that everything is. Uh... Oh yeah, no, it's 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 doing its job. So there you go. It's a little easier because I'm missing one spring. <laughs> oh well, it works. It works. I don't care. It works. It's finished. I don't care. Don't care. Uh, it's not like you drive with the emergency brake. It's mainly for parking, but or if you have to jam on it. Uh, so I'll get all that done. So I got to clean the rotors. I got here are the calipers. The calipers didn't come with banjo bolts, but I'll do. I'll show you. They came with the washers, obviously. What am I doing for time? And obviously got the studs. So I got to you know get all this stuff prepped, 
prepped and there's where the that's where it goes there there's your bleeder and a little bleeder cap but what's nice is, is they uh they took it on themselves to go ahead and put in the um the little clips for you and plus you get extra clips uh with the the brake uh, uh, pads so it's kind of nice you know, it's kind of nice of them you know you get the brake pads plus the uh yeah plus all that extra stuff nice pretty nice uh, they're in there somewhere but anyway so maybe they're not I don't know uh, but either way yeah uh, you get all that it's pretty much slap it on and away you go but I want to see that these things got uh, the grease on them I think yeah they feel pretty greasy so pretty sure they do but I'll put more on there anyway why I want everything to work good you know and I put a little bit of grease on here uh, grease, I'll show you the grease you use. It's, uh, it's a silicone grease. It's not, uh, it, you got to use like, uh, this stuff's called the uh, Easy Slide uh, Brake Lubricant. It's basically like a silicone. I'll show you when I'm done anyway, so. Pretty much done with the anti-seize for now. Uh, yeah, so I could talk you through the whole putting on the brake procedure or whatever but there's enough videos out there that do it better than i can do it anyway so i just showing you where i'm at so anyway uh yeah there we go so i gotta get to it i gotta get this darn truck going <laughs> just gotta make my money back I'm spending way more money and i haven't driven it yet so it's like yeah hopefully that's all the problems i'll encounter for this season but you know how murphy works so I'll probably doing all this for nothing i just i just know that's that's what's going to happen it's the uh, i'm not negative i'm just it's reality you know like everything has to fuck up on me you know what I mean? like it's just uh, kind of the way the world works right now so anyway we'll see if i can get it done and uh, i'll just kind of patiently if i make it if it, if, it, if it, i'll just kind of hold my breath every time i drive like i have no doubt that at least at least it'll stop well it's just you know as long as nothing else goes on it i should be good but once i got the brakes all on the emergency brake cable on then it's just the last hook up my latch on the door put the door back together um the hose i may have parasitic drain in this truck i'm not sure i think i do it probably is the that the headlamp but i'll test that later uh so i pulled the battery out of the truck for now because i left it for maybe about a week and i went to start it and i, I could have also maybe one of the actuators on the door uh was kind of on and, and drained the battery that way i don't know uh this is an old truck right it's an old four so uh but yeah, my battery was pretty much almost stone dead. I charged it back up to 11 and a half volts. So the battery's not the newest either. But the nice thing is I got the other truck battery, uh, the Ford battery. What I'm going to do is drive one battery for a month, then pull it out, put the other battery in, and drive it for a month. That way it keeps your batteries from dying. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's not good to just sit there and have them on chargers all the time. You'll overcharge them and kill them that way. So anyway, I'm going to go with that. Uh, I'll get the rotors on it cleaned up and uh, with the brake clean, and uh, I'll go from there.